Okay, hello and welcome to this Hurricane Dorian update. It's 10 p.m., a little after 10 p.m., and I just want to update uh, you on what's going on with Hurricane Dorian. What you see here is a terrible situation. Uh, this monster hurricane is literally stalled. It is stuck in place. You can see it's stuck in place. It's not moving. Uh, right over, the, uh, just north of the Grand Bahama Island right here, and the folks here in Freeport are just... Imagine just being stuck in the eye wall for hours and hours and hours. This is a very unusual situation uh, that seems to be occurring more and more as we deal with the effects of climate change. Our upper level steering currents, our jet streams are, are, are not moving and so there's nothing to move this hurricane away from the Bahamas and it's just sitting there and causing so much destruction. So uh, let's uh, go and read the lat latest uh, update from the National Hurricane Center. Extremely dangerous Hurricane Dorian remains stationary and continues to thrash Grand Bahama Island. Residents sh should remain in shelter on Grand Bahama Island as they are currently experiencing the eye wall of Dorian. Residents in the Abaco should also continue to stay in their shelter until conditions subside later at night. Wind gusts up to 165 miles an hour and a storm surge of 12 to 18 feet above normal tide levels with higher destructive waves. These hazards will continue over Grand Bahama Island through Tuesday morning, causing extreme destruction on the island. So its location is 26.8 north, 78.4 west. It's about 25 miles northeast of Freeport in the Grand Bahama Island and about 105 miles east of West Palm Beach, Florida. Maximum stains winds are 140 miles an hour. And its minimum central pressure is 942 millibars, and it's not moving at all. It's stationary. So uh, I'm going to show you this here, show you some things on Twitter here of what's happening. Uh, this is a house that is 20 feet above the ground. So it's so 20 feet above the ground. And you can see the water is coming in to the kitchen right there. It's flooding into this building here. Um, it's flooding in. There it is. There it is. Look at the window right there. Look at that. There's the water coming in. This is 20 feet above the ground, 20 feet above sea level. So this is how high the storm surge is in the Bahamas. And it's a terrible situation in the Bahamas going on right now. You can see flooding. I'm, I'm trying to get some images for you. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of images here uh, because it's very hard for information to get out. But you can see it's just total destruction and uh it, it is horrible that people are still on the island right now. Uh, this island should have been evacuated. The Bahama government, this is my little rant, all right? The Bahama government knew this was coming. It knew it was coming from Grand Bahama Island. They should have evacuated all the islands that were affected, all right? There's a southern island here that's out of the way of the worst of it. They should have evacuated everybody, mandatory, to this uh other island here in the south out of the way by not evacuating people now we could have hundreds of fatalities and apparently the bahama government seems to be run like a third world country i guess the bahamas is a third world country because of the way they've handled this whole entire storm uh we you know here in the states we've evacuated we have mandatory evacuations in every area that's at risk the bahama government did nothing to protect people from this storm so i think they need to look at uh at their uh, i think the people of the bahamas need to elect a new government uh because this is a terrible this is going to be a terrible tragedy i understand the loss of property and uh, uh, to not be prevented but the loss of lives could have been prevented and uh, that is going to be the saddest tragedy of all with this hurricane so that is going to conclude this update on hurricane dorian um again it's stationary you're looking at something that is unbelievably horrible so um that is going to conclude this update you have a good night